are you YouTube? Welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make 3D text in Photopea or Lost Logo. Um, it's very easy. Photopea is a free software. Just go to photopea.com right here and you could uh, follow along. So this is the first portion. In the second portion, I'm going to show you guys how to shade it. So in this first part, this is only how to um, make the text first. Let's start by hitting new project. And we're just going to change the DPI to, uh, you could do uh, 200, it should be fine. For the size width, let's go for 3000, let's go for 3K by 1950. Right, now I wanna click that. Okay, let's hit create. Uh, right here we have a background layer. We're going to go to our text tool, this tool right here. Let's go to new layer. And we're just gonna click, All right? This is going to, allow us to start typing. Um, let's just type anything. Double click to highlight. Let's go to size and let's bring this up to like 400 or more. Let's go for five actually. All right, you can also change the font. So if there's a font you like, you can go ahead and select it. Um, obviously the font changes how it looks. So this one is pretty cool. Let's go for a more cartoony one. This one, no, that's actually really bad. I like that. These are not terrible. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this one, even though the spacing is a bit weird. But um, you wanna change your colors, so we're gonna right click and let's go into blending options. Because here, we're gonna go for, let's go for a color overlay, all right. You change the color, you can select any color you want. I go for a nice blue color I hit OK I hit, oh, I hit OK again now I'm going to right click my text and go um, rasterize layer style now I'm going to make a new layer I'm going to right click and hit clipping mask right here I go to my brush tool this tool let's increase the size so you go here increase the size size and lower the hardness all the way down opacity 50, 50 or so, flow 50 or so, flow around 50 as well. Make sure your color is all the way black and we're just going to paint towards the bottom of the logo right here. This will make a nice gradient for us. As you can see, you could adjust the opacity as well. Now to create the actual 3D effect, we're going to click on this logo uh, layer. We're going to right click and hit duplicate layer. We're going to take the bottom layer right here you want to drag this on like so and now we're gonna hit Control alt and t on the keyboard this will bring up these uh options you're gonna want to hold alt and drag from the corner once we have this you can also move this down a bit more all right now let's right click blending options go to color overlay and right here you want to select this color and now we're just going to make it darker said okay okay again now let's go for a new layer we're gonna go um let's go for our pencil this right here you want to actually go for the eyedropper tool we're gonna select this color right here then we'll go back to our pencil we're going to zoom in right here make sure it's on shape we're just going to click and you want to just connect these, right? Actually, you gotta go fill and change color, my fault. So right here, we're gonna connect these. And for the O, you wanna click, you want to click right here, go up here, and you want to drag this to align it, like so. Okay. now as you can see that is our 3d text effect so in the next part part two i'm going to show you guys how to shade everything and some nice effects and make this look even better so stay tuned for that um but in the meantime make sure to leave a like comment down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next part peace out